What? Thank you for putting your dick where my mouth is. Welcome back to Filthy Casual Gaming. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, so that's how we do it. Uh, and no, I didn't. I didn't kill any terrorizers. I did fix a lot of fighter ships, yeah. though. <laughs> that they're gonna have that, like that part of the conversation that's wasn't even in the out episode. Of context. <laughs> right. It doesn't matter. People don't even know. They don't even understand. <laughs> they're like, what? They're just gonna understand that that you killed every terrorist. Oh fuck! Damn it! Why did you not hit him? <laughs> he killed uh, all terrorists, Auto which really pissed me off Auto because I was on the worst. terrorist team in Counter Strike, and it was really <laughs> annoying. And then he defused the bomb, and he was everyone's hero. And it was like, God, Smash, stop being good at Counter Strike. You know, yeah, he's never played Counter Strike. <laughs> there's, right. this, there's this comic um, online that accurately depicts. It's like it's pretty much a marine playing this uh, this uh, the new Metal Gear Solid, and he's like, you know, these games always have you playing fucking as like the secret super badass super soldier when in reality if they're going for realism they should have you playing the dude that's guarding the post that gets his neck slit by the super soldier. Because <laughs> that's what a majority of people do. You mean like the new Battlefield 1 where apparently you die like 50 yeah. times? Wait, well apparently I've heard I don't I, like, I don't know this because I've not played it yet but from my understanding uh, during certain parts of the single player campaign like if you die it literally shows like your character's name birth then death and you play as a new character. <laughs> That's pretty hot. If you die in the game, you die for real. That's fact. it's got consequences. Nah, man, we gotta we gotta do uh, what's the kid from fucking Malcolm in the Middle? I've never watched Malcolm that's, in the Middle. That's cheating, bitch! I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Have you ever actually watched that movie? Malcolm in the Middle was no. a show. No, stay alive. <laughs> Where the whole you die in the game, you die for real thing came from? Uh, pretty sure that came from the Matrix. What? No. I mean, maybe. Because they died. The mind the makes matrix. it real. No, it's if you die in the Matrix, you die for real. But there's a gay, there's a movie it's called a Stay Sydney Alive. There, there's a there's a gay movie called Stay Alive where the idea is this there's indie game is movie? going around. It's a pretty fucking awful movie. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a, like an Back, indie game going around Shit. where if there you oh, it's a survival God game. Shit, that's right. And if you die in the game. The monster from the game comes out and murders the fuck out of you in the real in the real life. Is that and the so one where you die fuck. the exact same way you die in the game? Yeah, I'm so and bad um, right now. like the like it's supposed to be it's like a survival horror game, and this chick is like, I guess like Frankie Muniz, that's his name, the guy from Malcolm in the Middle is in it, and there's a point no, where oh, like fuck. obviously Hitting all these the people guy, like dude. hear about it, and they're like, nah, man, we're gonna play this game because it's so it's Halloween and ooh spooky. Oh, I thought you meant Brian Cranston. No. Uh, <laughs> Brian Cranston? More like Brian Cranston. The only good thing to come out of him in the middle, not, not I his I thought dad. he became a race car driver. Hey, I got some life back. Nice. nice. That's Shake and Bake. Shake? No, you're thinking of John C. Riley. <laughs> but anyway, so there's a point when Frankie Muniz's character, like, they're trying to escape from this chick, and like half of them have died in the game already. <laughs> <laughs> and so the chick is like, uh. the, the monster chick is trying to kill everybody. And, like, Frankie Muniz, like, hasn't died in the game yet, and so he's trying to distract her by, like, running around in the game. And the monster in the game, like, shows up because she's pissed off that he's trying to distract her in the game. And he's like, that's cheating, bitch, I ain't dead yet! And it's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't paying what? attention at all. I was really enveloped in trying to kill those guys. I'm the I was like, man. Because I, like, I had, like, no health left, and I was like, fuck, dude. Oh, I rolled a Neptune! Yeah, I can't. Okay, I can. Tell. Lord I'm, of the seas. I'm the eye hole man. Can, I'm can the I, only one that can have can eye say, holes here. This looks like a fucking trance, fucking album cover in the background. Right. Just saying. It looks almost like the end of a uh, like. I I kind of love shit like this. Like yeah, so do I. This, shit like this is why I liked Inception because like the last chunk of Inception was like this. It's part of the level is like super beautiful. Dude, you're not allowed to say that you didn't like Inception anyway. I, li I liked it. I thought it was decent. It was. That's the thing. It's an all right movie, mostly because it has. Uh, oh, yeah. Ye oldie Leo McCumberbatch in it. <laughs> uh, I like him. The only movie I didn't like him in was What's Eating Gilbert Grape, and that's because I don't like cringe movies. What is Eating Gilbert Grape? Uh, I mean, <laughs> probably can. <laughs> These are questions that need answers. But, like, I don't like cringe movies. Like, I couldn't watch Kick-Ass. Like, halfway through that movie, I literally got up and left the theater. Honestly, that's the only time I've ever I didn't done like, that. I didn't like Kick-Ass at all. I thought it was a, just a shitty movie. Like, it's I'm not even... I, I didn't even dislike the movie, because he's just so fucking embarrassing the whole time. I was like, oh, God, I can't... I just can't. I just didn't think it was good. I mean, like, how, how can you not like a movie that has Nicolas Cage in it? Well, I like Nicolas Cage's Beast. performance, I just didn't like the movie. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Those are the truly the rarest set of words in the English The rarest language. set of pepes. I liked Nicolas Cage's performance <laughs> in that movie. I don't know, man. I like the Ghost Rider movies. <laughs> uh, all right. You know, actually, no. No, uh, no, 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 no. Fucking oh, God no, of no. War was on the TV at work the other night, and I watched that shit start to finish. Mm. 
A, because someone in the lobby was watching it, so therefore I couldn't change it. And B, it actually wasn't bad. Wait, wait, you mean, you mean Lord of War? Whatever. I was gonna say, I didn't realize that Nick Cage played Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> the one where he's a fucking arms dealer. It was an alright flick. All I know is I walked that. in, like, I walked in the front door of my job, and I look up, and Nick Cage is sitting in a car with some guy doing loads of cocaine. Oh, it's, that. it's Ukraine. Like... <laughs> I love that fucking scene, dude. He's just like, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? He's got, like, the entire country drawn out with cocaine. He's like, it's Ukraine. Like, that justifies <laughs> and then, it. And then he's just like, you'll be dead before you hit the coast. And then the cocaine, <laughs> the cocaine swirls up in a big cloud and then covers him in his skin. Ah, you're freeing our Lord Neptune. Yes. Ruined my joke, dude. This you. is a chiropractor. This is I'm being a chiropractor. Tonight, giant statue. You tonight. <laughs> you. Hey, it's mom. What's up, mom? Dude, you can't say that. Dude, what? It's going back into the badger news of time. Dude, dude, have you still not gotten out of fucking limbo yet? Dude, dude this I, is my yeah, trigger. No, right dude, here. the whole game pretty much takes place in limbo. Like, if you're in reality, you're not playing the game pretty much. Wait. So, like, if you're in reality, you're in a cutscene. So. Okay. Okay. So Fuck some face. So let me get this straight. Like, the entire time, like, all of the threats aren't in the real world. So, exactly. kind of, um, it's, I don't know, it's like, it's an illusion. Essentially. So, essentially, this game might as well be, it's a dream the game. Kind of? It's a fever dream. Garbage, um, garbage, 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 it's garbage. It's kind of. Garbage, garbage. Hey, it's in like... In Devil May Cry 1, you literally were fighting through a giant castle to kill Mundus to oh, protect man. the world They're... from hell. What the fuck is this Lost Soul at? Also, Mundus is like the worst fucking name for a bad guy ever. I was just thinking Pretty that. sure that's the dude that... Mundish. Pretty sure that's the final dude in this one. Does he show you his butt? Mundus, Mundus. And then there was that super Sweet. anticlimactic, like, plane flying... Oh, shit. Sexual enemies right, right in the, the top. To be fair, that fight, though, at the end, did feel the pretty bad. It was great. It should have ended there. And yeah, the, the flying part was gay as shit. Which, no, I do not mean homosexuals. I do mean homosexual. Oh, shit. Of course not. Well, <laughs> there's, there's no just, salvaging that. Just now. wanted to leave you with that one. <laughs> Long story short, uh, y you can, you don't have to be homosexual to be gay. Yes, you do. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Yeah, what, no, are, what, what are we, you talking? I'm already... honestly, no, no, I'm lost. I don't know what we're talking about. I'm just like in the zone doing hack and slash shit right I'm now. I'm trying to say the developer that that did the part. Of the uh, did, did the it. part of uh, the flying section at the first end of for Devil May Cry One mm -hmm. is a fag. Oh, okay. Well, in the go. same sense that South Park said it, okay. in that he likes Harley's. Well, I called you a fag. I didn't, didn't call you a gay fag. Quit being a faggot and suck that dick. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking yeah, uh, dude. Louis I love Louis C.K. Yeah. Louis C.K. really hits that <laughs> on the night. Honestly, though, I can't really. I don't know anyone who says that I have a problem with homosexual people. I just I just think about back to Kyle making out with this black dude at the bar, and I was just like, yeah. man. I support you in this decision. <laughs> you, you I was like, I had no idea you were like that, Kyle, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and support you. Probably shouldn't use his real name, but whatever. Whatever. YOLO. He's never been on the show. Yeah, he hasn't. If he ever is, we'll just, I don't know. We'll just introduce him as the man that I don't really think he cares. Days. I think he just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> The man who sucked the dick. The, the man who sucked the dick. This is the the actually kind of cool. Like I'm actually kind of digging this puzzle section. Like that's yeah, kind of interesting puzzle. It's just getting you used to the mechanic. You know, for hack and weapons. slash, it's got a decent puzzle. Hey, mom. Here. Here. Oh my god, I don't care. Next thing you know, you're gonna find her eviscerated and burning on the ceiling. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look at this game in the eye and be like, "Spiders! Spiders! No!" I'm gonna look at this game in the eye and be like, "Game, stop ripping off bad CW shows." Hey, man. Hey. And then I'll start singing hey. Carry On My Wayward Son. They're not bad. <laughs> carry On My... Uh, they're just demographically challenged. <laughs> what? You know, to be fair, the first like the first season of Supernatural is garbage, and then every season after, like, season seven is garbage. My house. Damn it. Stop him! Seriously. The, all this is, like, not even joking. Oh God, all this is making me want to do Sorry. is play Splinter Cell Conviction. I've never actually played a Splinter Cell game. Uh, you should play none of them except for Conviction. Because I've played Conviction, I played 1, and I played 2. Uh, because I played Conviction, and I loved Conviction, and then I played 1 and 2, and I was like, these games are kind of garbage control-wise. There we go. Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Whoops. My that, bad. That sweet sword slash to death. Hey, the man, secret. I killed the guy and took him with me. That's what's up. <laughs> the right. secret is you There's always have to take them with you. Not here the secret is I'm always falling to my death. No, it's I'm not here. I don't remember. <laughs> I like how you can basically just say that the only Splinter Cell game that you should actually play is Hitman. Wait, what? 
Because fair because Hitman has like a yo yo quality between the characters. Like how Grizz and I just kind of went to the same place right there. We're just like. But yeah, man, like, uh, I the played... The most con- obscure of Dunky references. <laughs> Dude. I played Conviction, like, I, I don't know, like, I played a demo for Conviction, I'm like, this is pretty oh. fucking sweet, so I bought the game, no, and I played through it game. multiple times, and I loved it, and so I was like, maybe I'll like the old Splinter Cell games, and I've just been missing out this whole time. Wrong! They're garbage. No, it also garbage. Garbage. Wow, dude. <laughs> that trash in the game. You are <laughs> on fire today. Oh, uh, God. I am. I was gonna start singing a song from the band Garbage, but I don't that's remember a, any of them now. That's a band. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised. There's a lot. Wait, I don't want to. I don't care about so abilities. That's the one with, wait, no, I'm thinking of Hole. Yeah, for some I reason, want. I was thinking Courtney Love. Stinger oh. level two. Pretty soon, all the single word stinger. band titles will be taken. Cor- you mean Courtney Love, aka I got famous for murdering my husband. Well, you can't. You can't prove that. Hey man, can't prove that. You know, fine. Go ahead and say I can't prove, but I believe Courtney Love. Court Courtney. Courtney Love. Courtney Love. Mur- killed Kurt Cobain. That green hey, rose. That's uh, mom. Next, you're gonna say Bush did No, right? that's a green rose. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, you should probably fight these guys next time on Filthy Casual Gaming. All right, let's do it next time on Filthy Casual Gaming. <laughs>